Life in Capricorn. We're going to be looking at uh, what it is that you need to know about love right now. Okay, um, using the lover's oracle. And this could be in a romantic relationship, friendship, family ship, work relationship, whatever. Okay, so whatever is going on for you right now, the most um, pressing uh, relationship in your life is what this may be about. But check out. Your Venus, your rising and your moon signs for any further clarification that you might need, especially if this doesn't resonate for you. Okay, so one more card for Capricorn, please. Thank you. Okay, so first card out here is this card here, which is my beloved. Hmm. Okay, so... Though we may be physically apart, spiritually, we are always united. For love transcends space and time. Nothing is missing. Beautiful. That's so nice. Okay, and the next card here we have is this card, which doesn't have a title. If you could do anything, what would it be? The answer dwells in your heart, not in your mind. For the heart is the gateway to the soul. Oh, I love that. I'm going to read this Um last card a little bit later okay so let's look at my beloved here first capricorn my beloved although we may be physically apart spiritually we are always united for love transcends space and time nothing is missing awesome 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 and when you come into that heart space you will know that and you will feel it right Okay, so the first card we have here for you is Peacock. Raise your standards. Interesting. Interesting. See, this is the thing. I wonder if some of you allow um, maybe things that you wouldn't otherwise because you feel like, oh, well, if I don't, if I, you know, kind of like put my foot down, I'm going to not have anyone or, you know, it's just easier to keep the peace. Not so. Okay. Um, yeah, see here, because it's kind of like just keeping quiet and not saying anything rather than expecting more, right? And, and kind of like stepping it up for yourself. Because at the end of the day, um, you deserve the very best, okay? You don't deserve anything less than that. So it's really about you deciding what is it that you're worth and um allowing only um allowing you know people in your life to be there because they are treating you to a certain standard you know because i feel like for you capricorn is that you'll treat people a certain way because that's how you um believe people should be treated and how you would like to be treated but it seems that for some of you you're not getting that reciprocated and um, you're kind of going oh well that's just how they are or I can't really expect anything more because you know um, for whatever reason but that's not the case that's not the case okay you can surround yourself with people who are willing to uphold that in your life right who are willing to respect that okay and that is really all about boundaries okay resilience rise above tribulation yeah okay so this is um not lowering your standards not stooping to a certain level right tell me more about resilience that one's gone they're both gone on the floor let me pick them up yeah see here's the thing right is that you actually i know that sometimes you don't feel like you're resilient because things hurt you know and i completely get that it's just that I feel like, how do I put this? Oh, without sounding like, you know, being judgy. Oh, I don't know if it's judgy, but anyway, I've just got to say it. Um, it's kind of like you are a step above the rest anyway. And so in order to find people on your actual level can be really difficult. Um, and that's the on, honest truth. You know, you're you're from the cosmos here. You're a cosmic child. I mean, we all are, but not everyone is aware of this and not everyone is um, able to actually step up to the plate. And I feel like you do. And 
yeah, it's tricky. It's tricky to find people on your level, right? Um, and I just wonder if some of you have kind of given up in the faith of that you will actually find people on your level and the fact of the matter is there won't be many around let's be honest okay but they are they may be far and few between but they are there okay and I suppose part of that is being patient with those who aren't at that level because you know they've got their own journey and they've got learning to do um, but it's also not um, accepting less than in your life either okay um, okay the next card here if you could do anything, what would it be? The answer dwells in your heart, not in your mind. For the heart is the gateway to the soul. Yeah. Really coming down into your heart, not, let, not letting the mind rule and um, letting the heart do, um, letting the heart lead, I suppose, right? Intuition, trust your intuition. Yeah, you know you know what's best regardless of what anyone else around you is telling you or what looks good on paper, right? You do know what is best for you. Um, one more card. Yeah. We've got rainbow here. Man, this is you rising up and stepping into the light. So that <laughs> Capricorn, I feel like, you know, this is about you showing your true colours and showing... Um, the gem that you actually are okay because i feel as though some of you hide that you try not to sh you try not to shine too bright because you don't want others around you to feel less than because of your ability to shine so bright right you like to create an illusion that you're just like everybody else but you're not so why would you hide that from the world? Why? That's not that's not doing anyone any favours, particularly not you. So maybe it's time to try something new in order to show. Because, you know, there's this thing, right? On the one hand, you want to be recognised, you want to be seen for who you are, you want, you know, that, that validation in a sense. Um, and hopefully not in an unhealthy way, hopefully in a healthy way, but I get it, it's nice to be seen, right? It's nice to have your true self seen. Um, and yet part of you also doesn't want that. And so there's a little bit of a friction going on here with these two parts of yourself, okay? Um, yeah. And so I feel like whatever is going on for you right now, there's some sort of resistance. It's like, I want it, but I don't. I want it, but I don't. And I don't quite know what to do. And this next card here says, go with the flow. Okay, go with the flow. Let things happen. Yeah, ride the wave. Ride the colorful wave, right? Look at these um, fish here. Colorful fish, right? ride that wave because um, that's going to allow you to show your abilities um, where people have not seen them before this for some of you this could be at work it could be in, in any form of relationship that um, you know this is going to allow you to really express yourself and express your creativity and what it is that you can actually do okay rather than just going on with the mundane um, routine and you'll be able to begin to really uh, bring yourself out of your shell here. Okay, there's a crossroads here, right? A decision, a decision that you need to make. Are you going to go this way or are you going to go that way? Both paths, here Capricorn are going to teach you something. Okay, both paths are not, um, like, like there's no path that is um, less than the other. Okay, um, I, my instinct is to say to you to pick the path that is the mo more uncomfortable one because that's the one you're going to grow for from the most um, and be creative with it, okay, because that's something that needs to come out of you right now and I feel like it's kind of like you need a bit of a, 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 a push in the right direction to go do it like you, you know before you don't have a choice right and and whatever path you choose though choose it fully okay um don't or at least try not to sit there going no oh, 
what if I had chosen the other path? Should I have done that? Because opportunities will come around again, okay? If Because this is something that you're actually meant to bring out in this lifetime. Um, and those opportunities for that to happen will come again, okay? But don't stay in your comfort zone knowing that those opportunities will come again. Step out of your comfort zone now because then um, by the time other opportunities come around, you, your expansion on that is going to be so much more, so much more, okay? The tree remembers. See, this is it. This is something of your soul journey that is going on for you right now. So um, there is no way this can be wrong. No way. There is no wrong choice here. Okay. We also have romance. So um, Cupid's arrow strikes. So this is something that is, wow, wow, this is gorgeous. Okay. And I just wonder now that that's come up, is some of you actually afraid of making the wrong choice in romance? Um, but yeah, I, 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 I think that, you know, obviously you need to go with your gut and you need to trust your intuition. It's not for me to say, oh yeah, go down and do, do this. This is all, you know, just general stuff. It's not, you know, to live by. So it is up to you. And if there is something in your gut that is screaming, if, if you have doubt, okay, let's put it this way. If you've come to a reading to see what to do about a particular person because you're in doubt, there is your answer. Okay, because if you are fully, fully going, yes, this is 100% the thing for me, then you would not be here right now. Okay, but consider Consider what it is that um, is creating that doubt and, you know, is there something that you need to work through or is it something that you really need to pay attention to and move in another direction? You know, only you will know that. Okay, we have this next card here, Enlightenment, Pursue Spiritual Growth. Yeah, I love this. I love this. You know, because this is naturally who you are, right? So go with your intuition, go with the knowing that you have within you, okay, and let that lead the way. Not this, but this, okay? Okay, so, yep, there's a new journey here waiting for you. Fruit of knowledge, yeah. See, this is a new journey that you can impart upon that is going to teach you more than you could ever imagine, okay? It's going to teach you to see things differently. It's going to teach you to... Um, to know that there is a different perspective and that you can embrace that. Okay, so Capricorn. Yeah, see, look, the last card here is knowledge. Love it. Okay, seek knowledge. Actually look for it. Look for things to learn. Look for every opportunity you get to learn something new. Okay, because this is going to help you along the way. We have flight here and we have idleness. Interesting. Two opposing part cards and energies. Um, and I just wonder if this is the crossroads, right? Um, and this potentially is what it feels like. I can either do this and fly, or I can sit on it and wait and go really slowly. Look, I, you know, I think from both, you're going to learn. If you have to sit and be patient and wait, that's going to teach you a whole lot about yourself, okay, and what it is you need to do to um, actually embrace that. And then to take flight, that's going to teach you to jump in, right, and, and transform like you need to. It's going to teach you to fly and take off and rise above, yeah? So there's no wrong path here, okay? It is up to you what you do and... Um, and know that whatever it is that you choose is going to be right for you. Just go with your heart. Follow your heart. And you will never go wrong. As soon as you jump in here, this is where it all gets muddled and confused. But your heart knows. Because this is, what is it? It's the gateway to your soul. Okay, Capricorn, I'm going to leave that with you. Take care of your beautiful self. See you. Bye-bye.